Hey all, and welcome back for another round of Hellfire Comms, Patreon TV Comms. Today we're returning to Steins Gate for episode 16 to 18, and, whew, last time was a bit of a roller coaster, so just a bit of a... Here's a little recap of what happened. Uh, Mayuri was shit on by fate, constantly. Uh, Rintara could not stop her from dying, and uh, it seems... You know, after a little bit, they managed to get to a sort of safe haven of sorts. They're going to have to cross world lines in order to make sure she's fully safe. And uh, Suzaha uh, revealed herself to be from the future. She was John Titor, or whatever that dude's name was. And the satellite that crashed into the building was actually Suzaha's time machine, which is now uh, in need of repair. So I guess we're dealing with that right now. Oh, and CERN is evil, yada, yada, yada. Uh, that should basically bring us all up to speed. So uh, if you're ready, Neo, I'm ready for episode 16. My memory is jogged and ready. All right, here we go. Episode 16 of the Steinsgate dub. Once again, commissioned by James Sterling. Thank you. In three, two, one. Now, admittedly, that was kind of a rush job of the last few episodes. But uh, thankfully, we'll uh, get a little bit of a, a recap here. Oh, yeah, we're also looking for Susan Ha's father at this point in time, I believe. Cause, yeah, because her father was like a, a resistance hero in the dystopian future or something. That's right. <laughs> Could be an Eggman of sorts. Sorry, I got Sonic 2 on the mind because the first reviews for uh, the film are dropping today. Oh, yeah. It's going to be very fun watching that run tomorrow's me to go up and down, let me tell you what. No, he just kind of floated away, really. It was a bit odd, but, you know, I don't ask questions. God, Mayuri could die like 10,000 more times if the rounders have anything to say about it. Hmm, Sacrificial Necrosis. Bit of a scary title, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the situation's serious and she's got her lab coat on. Oh. My god. Oh, shit. Did we, like, hypothesize that he could possibly be Suzar's father? Yeah, I remember saying that. Because they were spending uh, time together fixing the time machine. Yeah, like when I tell my co coms they're doing a bang-up job. They are always doing a bang-up job. Every single time, without fail. Even on the days we don't record. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you know, hmm. It's the worst kind of time travel. Yeah, you really think the government would have come to take a look at that thing by now? Well, they already did the sneaking challenge to get here, so now it's unlocked into fast travel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess it is there, yeah. He may be rotund. I don't know where I'm going with this. He's good at mechanics, all right? <laughs> God, now I really hope he's not a father.
It's me with society in general, really, so I can kind of relate. I don't like the vibe that's uh, been put out right now. Okay, phew. It was just a, a tense moment. I, I was expecting a sniper to pick her off. And the 70s were very cool. Oh, yes. Nothing wrong there at all. I would actually have to look up uh, what went wrong in the 70s. I, I, I'm trying to think of whether Austin Powers described it. Like a gas shortage and a flock of seagulls. That's about it. That was uh, the 80s that he was describing. <laughs> okay, yeah. Tapa, tapa, tapa. Hmm. The fuck? All oh, right. The perspective of that made the tire seem huge. And we also packed you lunches. They're going to contaminate the fuck out of the past. Oh no. Tricked the wrong person. Maybe. I mean, they kind of have, like, the same sort of hair. So who the hell is the mob if he's the dad? Just somebody, I guess. Sometimes, like, one of the parents doesn't really matter. No, 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 no.
Well, this is awkward, because I have not fucked yet, so <laughs> this could change at any moment. Don't start disappearing. <laughs> the reward just wobbles out of screen. I'm like 20, this is weird. Yeah, Dad, you, thanks. Reunion ruined. You can't tell him or he won't do it. Uh, let's go find Cap Shield. We're gonna go give that to someone else. It's a bit of a heavy start to this recording session. It's a good job I got the wiki next to me. No. I will find your mom and bang her. Oh, she's gone. No. Oh. There you go. We can sell our sweet merch. Hello? Chris Sabat? Where's my part-time worker gone? I forgot he was actually voiced by Christopher Sabat. <laughs> Oh. Oh shit. I don't like that at all. Right, right. Oh, it's a crazy letter. Uh-oh. Jesus.
Hell of a butterfly effect, that. And that unfortunately reads like a suicide note to me. So what did she do for him? Yeah, there it is. But time travel sucks. It does. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to explain this diversion points thing, because I haven't really uh, gone into detail on that. Um, in episode 14, Suza explains to save Maori, they need to escape the Alpha World Line attractor field, where Maori is doomed to die uh, due to the converging nature of world lines, and cross the 1% divergence point to the Beta World Line, where the outcome might be different. So, there you go. So now she doesn't get to know who her father is. Mm hmm. There's trade offs to everything. Well, something changed. Yeah, better outcome at least. <sighs> well, if anyone knows how to read that, it's Red Tara. Yeah, don't let my error near the train tracks, please. Lock her down. Yeah, it's getting to that time again.
I don't forget when the rounders burst in here originally, Suzaha was the one to create a distraction, so... It was a less than 1% change, but maybe that was enough. Whew, that one was uh, a bit tough. A lot of it was just us kind of taking in what happened there, but uh, yeah, I think that was for the best, because that was a heavy episode. Yeah, a lot going on in Stein's Gate, man. Oh, well, the divergence meter has changed, even if ever so slightly, so maybe we have entered a new future, Neo. Maybe someone else is in danger now. Maybe so, maybe it's us. I mean, <laughs> Spa did get a random text from 1969, but with no message, so who knows? Oh my god, oh my god. I gotta look up to see, make sure that the Beatles did break up. Oh Jesus, no. No, no! <laughs> now, now McFly uh, established themselves back in the past. They are the best band of all time. No! <laughs> Oh, bless. All right, I got episode 17 ready and ready to go, if uh, you are, mate. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Episode 17 of Steinsgate in three, two, one. All right, we've moved forward on the divergence meter ever so slightly, but is it enough? Hmm, possibly. Oh, I'm feeling a horrible sense of deja vu. Fuck! This time loop fucking sucks. Yeah, it's a good job I have experience with type stuff, especially with the more recent uh, Neo The World Ends With You. Otherwise, I'd be completely lost in the series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all this time I thought you were saying curry su, as in the food, but it's curry su. Curry su, curry su. It's just the way you pronounce it, really. Pronunciation can eat my ass. <laughs> it can indeed, as can doom time loops. What the fuck have we got to lose, really? Yeah, this yeah. is complex. It's alright. I was eccentric now, and I'll be eccentric back then as well, and vice versa. They're allowed to be friends. Was this round six now? I kind of lost track.
So they're just undoing a bunch of the changes they've made now. Essentially, yeah. They're kind of... If you imagine time as, like, a bunch of wires all tangled up, they're untangling it. Just sort of retracing your steps. Jesus Christ. Well, at least he's keeping himself entertained. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that change. The fuck is going on? Oh, fuck. The rounders. Or maybe someone else? She was in her own shit for a while. Okay, yeah. You are right. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Can you take your other anime and get out of Star's Gate for a while, please? This is a hardcore scene. No one just gets out of conventions. No. It's like if you were just watching Law and Order and like they opened a the door and like Scoob and Shaggy were there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Probably shouldn't have, like, stood out in the middle of the alleyway having this conversation. Maybe we should get somewhere a little more safe. Like, you know, I don't think these guys are going to be able to repel into, into our safe house like the rounders were. Yeah, for sure. Raw. Ferris, have you ever heard of the term oo woo? Hmm. Not ringing a bell. And it's worse than I thought. That can is tiny. I'm a fucking time traveler. Have you not been keeping up? The Canterbury, the Mecca, you're running out of them. Zordon's command center, it's all there. These aren't my memories. Alright, let's get a bit played out though. For nerds, those guys have good stamina. <laughs> Surely the contest has happened by now. Going to take them over in the most vicious buyout Japan's ever seen. It's free real estate. Another world. <laughs> Another time. A better world. A better time.
My way can take it out of you. I'll recover. I've become unlinked. It's really embarrassing. Turns out just says Nya, you know? Nya. Huh. That complicates it. It does, yeah. Like, if we get back to a better timeline, then her dad dies. But if we don't, then Mayuri will die, so... Jesus, these nerds can throw hands. Yu-Gi-Oh! would be a very different show if this just happened. People just got random ass whoopings. Oh boy. Get in. <laughs> that guy on the phone is still ranting. I might have taken this a bit too seriously. Maybe. Just a smidge. You sound very young for a dad, gotta be honest. Guy is a very familiar voice. Oh, it's Eric Vale, who I believe, yeah, uh, Trunks. Also, he was the English dub voice actor for Phoenix Wright in the Ace Attorney anime. Also one of the voices of Popico in Pop Team Epic. Oh. So Suzu did get the IBN. I guess so.
Oh. It's not going to be the rounders. They wouldn't knock. Honestly, I couldn't make heads or tails of what their plans were, other than grabbing you and making you feel uncomfortable. That bed is huge. Sorry, I keep pointing out, like, size differences here. <laughs> Okay, Big Daddy G it is. Uh-oh. Paladin, maybe, you know. Or a regular Don Quixote. I'm starting to think we might not get out of a, a Moedla city, though. Sometimes you just have to make a choice, I guess. God, that's jarred.
No, never. The things these phones have done. Smartphones could never. How dirty of you. Okay, Miss Short Arms. It's just camaraderie. Don't be jealous. Just because I have cat girls and you don't, Curry so. <laughs> I'm collecting them. Well, at least we made the city smell awful again. Indeed. A, a, a winning day for nerds, I think. Jesus Christ. Okay, that one was a bit more lighthearted, even if it did have a tragic decision or two to make. But um, I'm glad the tone lifted, because I don't think my heart could have taken much more. What did you think of uh, that episode, Mo? Oh, yeah, that was great. Uh, yeah, that was really heavy at the end. Mm-hmm. All right, I guess we've got one more, and then we can sign off for Steins Gate for the day. So, episode 18, whatever you're ready about. Yep. All right, let's do this shit. Episode 18 of Steins Gate, the last one of this batch, in three, two, one. Okay, okay. Oh, it's this now. We have to change her. What? Yeah, I remember she was, um... Uh, her thing was, uh, well, I mean, she's basically trans she wanted to she, yeah she she uh, wanted to be born as a girl and the the email she sent allowed that to happen right so she's got to give up like her identity like part of her identity now jesus man Uh-oh. <laughs> Gotta put a foot up your ass. <laughs> Jesus. Have you been using time travel to change her? <laughs> I mean, maybe? The show can become farcical at the drop of a hat. The jacket's a weakness. It is, yeah. You, you'll know the timeline is really fractured when she's wearing that jacket properly. And you know things are really fucked up if she zips it up.
Man, those cicadas are pretty loud today, huh? Not just identity, just like biological sex in general. Yeah, I mean, it's both, really. Oh, Jesus. We're interested. Yeah, sorry about that whole thing. I just had one of my episodes. Really? Yeah, you know, misgendering. It's just a Tuesday, really. Interesting. Win win. I have an irregular heartbeat. Yeah, Jesus. You're not getting out of this without a date, mate, so just swallow your pride. Take one for the team. What the fuck? <laughs> this is straddling the line between being delicate with the subject matter and just kind of taking the piss. Again, just jealous of my bitches. Meowster. <laughs> oh. The world line has shifted. I don't like this world line now. It's always been this way. Oh no. I look around, there are several bitches around me. It's too much Nia energy here. Curse is just mad because she knows there'll be one timeline where they have to go on a date together. Penis music in fine form here. It denotes antics, nay shenanigans. He's never going to let you live this down. <laughs> That's a good line. Well, whatever, I guess. Google. <laughs> Well, at least he's got to treat him, right? It's 
Just be yourself. Myself is neurotic and stupid. That's what she fell in love with. Damn. Whoa. The port is my vagina. Casually looking at porn. I like the kind of <laughs> informative voice she's putting on her. She's just reading from a book for you. She's so mad. <laughs> oh no oh, poor extra guy yeah oh, jesus he doesn't know how to act he's just staring out into space God, he looks so weird without that lab coat on. Got him. You're the one who knew it was Lucky Star. I love that, yeah, true, but I love that stop toilet sound effect, though. Sorry, I just dropped a huge turd in there. Shall we go on walkies? That's a dog, Okabo. Date activated. You look like my dad. <laughs> At a boy. Yeah, she loves this shit. <laughs> Yes, it is rather warm. <laughs> oh, I'm cringing over Did you catch the game last night? So did you ever play a hentai game before? 
please. I'm, tr- I'm trying to conduct a proper date here like an adult. I mean, traditionally, you're supposed to ask them questions rather than make it about yourself, I would assume, anyway. Or you can make it about patents. I guess you could. No, I have many more patents to discuss. Hold hands. Yeah, I was going to say, this is not very romantic. I vaguely recall that? Yeah, where was that charisma during this date? Oh, don't bring that up. Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, at least give him a second day. Go see a movie or something. Could you at least give me a rating out of ten? Uh, solid six, I guess. We must do it again. Oh, god damn it. Whoa. It's alright. You know what he's like. You're so weird and offensive. I love it when you misgender me. I love it when you call me slurs.
and also a kiss. Will it, though? I remember everything. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> Dr. Pep. If only he were based. If only. Well, we're slowly getting there, and I'm not saying what happens next time, because that's a spoiler. Yeah. So we are slowly untangling this massive web of demos, reaching back and hopefully progressing to a proper world line. But uh, you'll have to wait until the next batch of Steins Gate for that. So uh, any closing comments, Neo? I hope we don't rewind all the way back to that fucking opening with Kurisu fucking dead. Yeah, that would uh, be a bit of a, a bummer, honestly. But uh, yeah, I uh, enjoyed that match. It started very heavily, got progressively lighter as things went on, and then became a bit farcical in the third episode, but it still uh, nailed the landing, I think. So uh, yeah, thank you, James, for commissioning these. If you want your own TV comms, hit on patreon.com forward slash hellfire comms, and uh, yeah, check the tiers. You can even have a movie and some TV comms if you go up high enough. Every penny helps support HFC, and we'll work on that backlog in the meantime so thank you for your support and patience see you next time for another round of hfc patreon tv comms bye bye